all right so i was kind of bored so i thought i would uh just uh, disassemble my voyage 200 it's kind of funny i've had this calculator for more than a year and i never thought about uh taking it apart and uh that's something uh we're gonna do today so as you can see this one has a uh, very small screws and it is I've, i haven't even tested it you know i just uh re I restarted my uh, camera i just started recording right after finishing another video but uh, i believe this is a uh, torx number six drive so we're about to find out uh let's see since i constantly work with that uh, uh screwdriver then uh i already know okay so this is indeed a uh, number six torque drive okay so since i never taken this apart i don't know exactly how it come off but uh okay i guess the first thing is gonna be uh, uh taking these uh batteries out i feel like this is going to be tricky i really do but uh okay so okay this one doesn't have any bag of batteries but uh, i guess uh, the visible screws are the ones over here so what i like to do is uh instead of uh nah <laughs> okay i was gonna uh, just leave the screws in there but i think let's yeah i might do that just see if that will work so i'm just gonna screw all the way i'm just gonna uh unscrew them all the way but not taking the screws out and uh, try to see if i can just pop the back cover off okay so i've uh loosened up all the screws so i'm just hoping that i can just uh you know uh pick this up and remove it let's see okay maybe it's not gonna be that easy after all uh interesting i'm sure i remove all the screws didn't i yeah 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 okay so at this point i think I'm gonna need to find a prior tool. Yeah, that's definitely what's gonna need to happen. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna find something that's not too uh, too harsh on the plastic and uh, try to work my way around. I don't wanna pause, pause this video. I wanna do this live so you can see what to expect. I don't have anything next to me that maybe uh, use to take this apart. Let's see. Okay. That's it, is that a knife? Don't need that. Okay. What about this one? This is one that's actually broken, but uh, let's see if we can work with it. Okay. Okay, nice. I guess I'm gonna have to do that on the top as well. Okay, so. Huh. No screws here okay that was very really easy yeah to be honest that was actually really easy i didn't have to take i didn't even have to take out the screws so yeah that's what i'm talking about it's much more convenient so i'm gonna put this back in here and uh one over here as well so i'm gonna see this aside so when it's time to uh, put it put it back together i can just uh, uh place it on top okay so yeah so this is your uh internal component it's using Toshiba everywhere. Uh, this is uh, it's quite interesting. Hmm. Made in Japan. Back in the day, Toshiba really used to be popular, at least in Africa, when it comes to the computing world. You know, most companies would buy Toshiba laptops. Uh, Toshiba and Dell were really popular in Africa. Toshiba, Dell, Asus, those three. I don't know what happened to the company. Hmm. Yeah, so this one is, uh, yeah, the internal looks uh, perfect, actually. No corrosion, no nothing, you know. Uh, so I'm going to go a step further. I'm going to take this one, two, two, three, four. So four more screws to take that apart. So uh, typically I just use, uh, what is this? Is this, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's just a, a Philip uh, drive or Philip, yeah. Which number? Uh, it's probably number zero, Philip Drive. Yeah, so any Philips really would do it. Most Philips, small enough. Okay, this is pretty tight. Pretty interesting. So it's four in total. I don't know why four, but it is what it is. 
So yeah, I'm actually, I don't want to, I didn't want to remove that, but I don't need to move all the way. So I'm only seeing four. I just want to make sure I'm not missing any screw. Yeah, just best to, you know. So I make sure I'm not, not leaving anything behind. Okay. So what I always do is I always have the calculator face down because you don't want to lose these, uh, these uh, uh, keys right here and push against the display slightly. And that doesn't seem to work. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, that's the only way, really. So I like to push against the display. And, okay, yeah, there you go. Push against the display and uh, lift this up. There shouldn't be any screw. At least I'm not seeing any screws. Okay, so this does not. This is now going the way I want it to go. So I'm gonna lift this up from here. Yeah, that's more like it. Okay, I don't like this. I'm gonna be gentle with this. Wow, it's kind of dirty. Yeah. So, <laughs> I haven't taken this apart in such a long time. Uh, a TI uh, Texas instrument that, oh, oh. I'm, okay, so yeah. So the screen is a little bit loosened. That's probably because I removed this screw, so the display is loosened. Oh, that's interesting, but I just wish you could easily replace this display, but I know better that uh, you won't be able to Unfortunately, that's just the way it is Okay, so can I lift it up? <laughs> I might have broken my calculator actually by mistake. This is not supposed to be this way. Yeah, 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 yeah <laughs> Wow but I didn't do anything wrong. I don't think I did anything wrong. I'm just hoping for the best. But chances are, if I put this together, chances are that it's not going to work, which is a bummer. <laughs> the calculator didn't ask me to do this, but you know, I just wanted to do it. But uh, if this doesn't work, I'm really gonna be pissed. <laughs> I'm going to be pissed because I don't have many of these. I only have two. And uh, if it doesn't work, that's really going to suck. Because as you can see, these are the these are for the vertical lines. I would assume, or the horizontal. This this is going to be this is the cable for the horizontal lines, transmit signals through these uh, uh, pins right there. The pins are extremely small, and there is no way you can solder this. If it goes out, then it goes out. That's it. You're out of luck. It's never going to work again. So it's supposed to be sitting on here. You know, it looks like uh, some kind of glue. Yeah, 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 this really sucks. Okay, so what I wanted to mention is that uh, with the, it looks like uh, with the Voyage and the 89 Titanium, they sit, uh, the keys actually have a, uh, the keys are actually not just uh, uh, sitting there. They actually have uh, this mechanism right here, what they actually sit inside of uh, uh, the rubber. So that's really good. So and if you, you drop this, then chances are it's going to be much easier to put everything back together as compared to the 89 Titanium or the 92 Plus, okay? So I'm really... <laughs> wow. I'm really... I don't really think this... I, I don't think this is going to work once I put everything back together for the reason I mentioned earlier. Okay, so I'm having trouble trying to put this back properly. Okay, this is a this is actually <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do this behind the camera.
I forgot to uh, start recording or resume the, my recording, so I'm just gonna present this here. I'm not going to. Uh, uh, I'm not going to screw it all the way. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna present it and uh, put maybe two or three screws. This is quite tricky. I don't. I don't really want to figure out right now how everything goes. I just want to make sure this thing starts. Well, it's gonna start. I just want to make sure the display is okay. Because the display is really just sitting there. It's uh, yeah, it's kind of messed up. It wasn't my fault though. It really wasn't my fault. <laughs> I think it's just the age. That should be enough. Um, okay, so. Yeah, 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 I thought so. As you can see, I re I knew. I knew, I knew, I knew this was going to happen. Wow, this is, this really sucks. <laughs> so, <laughs> what I can do is, uh, as you can see, if I press against the display, the area kinda wanna work, but it's not going to fully work, yeah. <laughs> My curiosity has turned to uh, something unexpected. Uh, but uh, yeah, it is what it is. So this video is going to be much longer than I thought it would be. Uh, yeah, we only left with uh, one choice really, which is uh, taking it apart and uh, try to see if I can, uh, I don't have any super glue. I can try to heat it up and see if uh, it will stay in place. Uh, Guess we're gonna do that right now. And uh, oh, have more screws here. Have a whole lot more screws. Yeah, uh, we're gonna go all the way. <laughs> this really sucks. Yeah, this really, really sucks. So, this is the problem here, you know. So, this thing is supposed to be sit against this. Hmm. Okay, so first thing first, I'm gonna uh, put the screws just so there isn't any uh, movement. Yeah, I guess when I remove the screws, uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah, when I, I, I remove the screws, then uh, everything loosened up, got loosened up, and uh, it wouldn't work properly. I don't even know which screws go Okay, so looking for a display, so it's gonna be this, 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 so those four, yeah, that's fairly easy. Okay. Uh, put one over here. Okay, and uh, one, Go over here. Uh, and the last one goes over here. Okay. So Wow. 
Yeah, this is not good. So, okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab my, uh, my lighter. Okay, so I got my lighter and a prior to, I don't have any, uh, I don't have any hair dryer because I don't have long hair. My girlfriend has short hair. I did any girl with long hair right now. <laughs> it is what it is. So I'm gonna heat this up a little bit. Why can't we say a lot bit instead of a little bit? Instead of saying a lot, we can just say a lot bit. <laughs> All right, I'm warm. It is what it is. Okay, so when it's warm enough, I'm just gonna run across. You definitely don't want this melted. That's definitely the last thing you want. You just gotta use some judgment here, you know? You gotta use some judgment here. Okay, so I'm hoping all I can do is hope away from the electronics, heat it up some more. And I'll run it across one more time. Okay, this actually looks darn good if you ask me. This looks darn good. So, I am just, uh, I'm gonna be really pissed, man. <laughs> All I wanted to do was uh, look inside the calculators and I uh, end up with a display problem. But uh, this should work, actually. If you, I'm, 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 I'm fairly confident that this is going to work. So, I'm just gonna go and screw all this quite tight. And the truth is, I didn't even have to take this off. <laughs> That's the sad thing. I didn't even have to take that, that, that off. Maybe if I wouldn't have done that, it wouldn't have had any uh, display issue. So once again, I'm gonna, uh, instead of putting all the screws, I'm just gonna put uh, maybe, uh, I'm, I'm just gonna put two screws. I'm just gonna put two screws in case it doesn't work. So I can just uh, leave it as is and use it for part because, uh oh. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm getting frustrated. So. <laughs> wow, how can, I dis how can I get this out now? Very interesting. Very smart, Gaston. Very, very smart. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Welcome to this story of my life, making mistakes. Okay, so this is how you take that out. Now you know. And I dropped it. And I don't know where this one goes over here. Okay, and I got it back. Okay, so I'm just gonna put two screws or three uh, around the battery, uh, where the battery goes. Just so the terminals, the terminals come to contact. Uh, let's put three. Uh, let's see, should be good. Well, at least we have a much better, we have an improvement. So since this is a positive improvement, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, run it again one more time. 
yeah i'm really i'm really pissed right now i am really pissed right now this should not happen So we know for a fact it's the problem, the horizontal lines. Yeah, the truth is I really can't do anything about it. Yeah, I always say this in my videos. When the display on these things go go bad, when the display goes bad, then uh, or goes out, then you really can't do anything about it. You can just the, the whole thing becomes a waste. You know, the whole thing becomes a waste because you cannot. It's impossible to just uh, switch display between these two. So yeah, uh, that's a really bummer. Let's see what we got. much better but I still see a uh, one horizontal line no actually I think it's fine yeah there's still one missing uh, horizontal pixel line at the very bottom as you can see so whatever I've been doing uh, is definitely working. So I guess I'm gonna uh, give it one more check, one more go. Let's see. So I'm gonna take it off and uh, do one more time.
It is still missing a uh, pixel, but it's a lot better than uh, it was. You see, the bottom part is not showing the whole thing, so that's not really what I wanted. Okay. So at this point, I really can't do anything about it. I can just uh, use it as is, but I can never resell this. Uh, I can only sell it for part because I know for a fact it's not it's not working properly. I don't think I can do much about it. I shouldn't have done that actually. I definitely shouldn't have done that. But at this point, I really I don't have anything else to lose. So the moral of the story is uh if you are taking this apart, just make sure you don't remove uh, none of these screws. So it just removes uh, the uh, cover and uh, leave this alone because if you move them, then this one is gonna become loosened. Okay, so yeah, that's that sucks, but I guess it is what it is. Okay, so when a calculator is not working properly, what I do is uh, I put it back together, but I don't put all the screws back though. Okay, let's just make sure. Okay, we almost done here. Okay, I think we're all good here. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this back. Yeah, I'm not gonna work on it anymore. Uh, uh, I guess the good thing is I learned from my mistake, which is I'm happy to know. So I'm just gonna put this back and just put a. Uh, I'm just gonna put a. Uh, I'm not gonna put all the screws. So Let's see, I'm just gonna put maybe four or five screws and then I'll call it a day. In case I need to get back inside of it and do some, some something else, recycle the part or for whatever reason. Okay, so I'm just gonna also gonna put some toward the bottom. Ah, uh, you know what? I think I'm just gonna put all the screw back because, yeah, it's just best that way, you know. I'm probably never gonna be working on this again, ever. I'm not gonna sell it. I'm gonna keep it because I don't have enough of these. So if I get some broken ones, some with the, let's say, uh, that needs, that have corrosion, you know, that can be fixed. In, in some cases, that those uh, corrosion can be fixed, but 
so I could always use uh, you know the keys for something else. So yeah, there's that. I just wanted to see what was inside the calculator. I managed to break it because I removed uh, the four screws that were, that were holding the LCD. So that's the moral of the story. Uh, but I'm actually not that sad. I'm just, it's just unfortunate. It's really unfortunate. You know, uh, it's okay. <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah, yeah this is definitely uh, as good as it's gonna get so what I could do is eh. yeah it's really unfortunate but eh, is what is what it is it's the price to pay learning is not free but uh, if you have any questions, just make sure you put in the comment section and I'll make sure to get to them.